paradigm compared this new agent LCZ696 to an Alapril. And at this meeting we're presenting lots of new data from the paradigm heart failure trial showing that the angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor reduces the clinical progression, that worsening that characterizes heart failure. Today, the hot topic in heart failure really is about paradigm HF, and it really is about these data that fundamentally change everything that we've been considering about heart failure over the last 20 years. That is to say that the ACE inhibitor now has to be thought of as one of several choices for the patient that has reduced ejection fraction heart failure. And in certain patients, this new class, the ARNI drugs, may be the preferred agent. And we'll just have to work this out as time goes forward regarding the guidelines, the details, and how we go through with the implementation. This is an exciting time in heart failure because of this very hot concept that we can't wait to start utilizing at the bedside, at the table side, in the clinic. LCZ696 is an angiotensin receptor antagonist, one that we know well, Valsartan, and it is a neprilysin inhibitor. So we have Valsartan plus Sigupitril that exercises a suite of actions that brings together antagonism of the vasoconstrictor system and upregulation or promotion of the natriuretic peptide system. So the angiotensin II type 1 receptor inhibitor retards vasoconstriction, reduces sodium and water retention, retards fibrosis, reduces hypertrophy, whereas the upregulation of neprilysin's inhibitory activity, that is, preventing the breakdown of the natriuretic peptides, leads to vasodilatation, naturesis, diuresis, and inhibition of pathologic growth. So this really looks like a very good combination of actions that might be beneficial in heart failure. So now we have a study that was uniquely designed to challenge the primacy of the ACE inhibitor as what I referred to earlier, the cornerstone, the foundational therapy for heart failure. Look at the reduction of death from cardiovascular causes, 20%. Look at the reduction in hospitalization risk, 21%. This composite outcome was highly statistically significant by many, 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 many zeros. So there's no argument that this is a strikingly positive study. And it's a positive study where the comparator arm had our backbone therapy, the ACE inhibitor, something we thought would never be unseated. Now we have evidence that there is an alternative approach that appears to be better than what we thought was already the standard of care. What was remarkable is that the very highest bar we know we can have in a clinical trial is overall mortality. Very few studies achieve that bar. This is irrespective of the origin or the cause of death. Even for that high bar, a 16% risk reduction for death from any cause, again, with a p-value that is followed by many, many, many zeros. The point being is that it's a highly statistically significant finding. So once you digest all of this, it's important to say, okay, again, let's slow down and think about when this compound becomes available, whom is it that might benefit the most? Well, let's just take the very straightforward approach and say, let's think about the patients that most look like those that were in Paradigm HF. In the original publication from the New England Journal of Medicine, it's pretty evident, and this is from the editorial written by Mariel Jessup, that the patients in Paradigm HF look like patients in other clinical trials that were largely populated by NYHA class two patients. So we have another pause moment. The people that we probably should treat with this compound first would be those that have a, what's been described as a sturdy blood pressure, are able to tolerate a full dose of RAS blockade so that blood pressure is not a consideration when they are transitioned to LCZ696. And they're in a moderate, a mild to moderate symptom class. We may be persuaded or tempted to use this compound in our more ill patients, and that will be an individualized decision. But the sweet spot appears to be the NOHA class two that has a sturdy blood pressure. We should keep that in mind as we try to think about which patients would we expose to this compound early on in our experience. This is an exciting time in heart failure because of this very hot concept that we can't wait to start utilizing at the bedside, at the table side, in the clinic. 
I hope this information has been of some benefit to you and that you've enjoyed Hot Topics from that page today.